Jackie Robinson by Will Mara. Okay, this is also a chapter book with lots of different chapters. If you wanna meet Jackie Robinson, you have to go to page five. So here we have Jackie Robinson. Meet Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was one of the greatest baseball players of all time. He was the first African-American to ever play on a team of all white players. He inspired millions and changed the game of baseball forever. And down here, we have little facts about Jackie. When Jackie played for the Dodgers, he wore number 42. Jackie Roosevelt Robinson was born in Cairo, Georgia on January 31st, 1919. He had three brothers and one sister. Jackie's father left the family the year after Jackie was born. His mother moved the family to California and raised the children on her own. Quick fact, Jackie was born in Cairo, Georgia. So here's a map, and the purple is Georgia, and this tiny area here is Cairo. And this is a photo of Jackie. He is second from the left. So this would probably be Jackie right here. He's the second one and with his mother and his siblings. At the time, African-Americans were treated badly in many places in the United States. Some white people did not want a black family living in their neighborhood. Jackie and his siblings were called names. Once a neighbor even threw rocks at Jackie, but his mom would not move. Jackie was a great athlete. In high school, he won several awards. At junior college, Jackie was the starting quarterback on the football team. He was voted most valuable player, also known as MVP, on an all-star baseball team and broke records in track and field. That's usually when you're running, Fast fact, Jackie's brother, Mac, was also an excellent athlete. He won one gold and one silver medal in track and field at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, Germany. Here's a photo. This is a photo of Jackie playing football. Photo just means picture. All right. Jackie moved to the Un University of California at Los Angeles, UCLA, in 1939. He played four different sports, basketball, football, baseball, and track. During his senior year, Jackie was named the best all-around athlete on the West Coast. While at college, Jackie met Rachel Isom. They later married and had three children together. So here's Jackie. He's getting married. And this is Rachel. Jackie and Rachel got married in 1946. Jackie became a soldier during World War II. Once again, he faced poor treatment because he was Black. He left the Army after two years. In 1945, Jackie began playing baseball for a team called the Kansas City Monarchs. The team was part of the Negro League. Jackie, he looks very nice in his hands, in, in, in his uh, uniform here. Another way of saying that is he's pretty handsome. At this time, a lot of America was segregated. Major League Baseball MLB had only, only white players. 
In some places, African Americans could not eat in the same restaurants as whites. African American children could not go to the same schools as white children. So here's Jackie, and he's posing with his teammate, Satchel Paige. He's another player in the Negro League. Changing history. Branch Rickey wanted to end segregation in baseball. He needed a super athlete. He also wanted a strong person who would not get upset when angry people called him names. Branch chose Jackie to play for his team, the Brooklyn Dodgers. So here's another photo. And this was taken when Jackie signed his contract with Branch Rickey. So here's Branch Rickey and here's Jackie. And they're making a deal. They're signing a contract. Here's another photo. And this is Jackie playing baseball. He's stealing home. Jackie started playing for the Dodgers on April 15, 1947. People called him terrible names. Some even threatened to kill him. Other players tried to hurt him too. They hit him with pitches and kicked him with their cleats. Jackie fought back by becoming one of the best players in the game. Fast fact, the Dodgers started out in Brooklyn, New York. They moved to Los Angeles, California in 1957. One of the best ever. Jackie's hard work paid off. In 1947, he was named baseball's rookie of the year. In 1949, he was the league MVP. Fans and players began to change their minds about him and about black players in general. Soon, talented black players were joining MLB teams. Ne these are the Negro League players, Roy Campanella, and that's him right here, and Don Newcomb, he's in the middle, and and he joined Jackie on the Dodgers. This is Jackie. Here's Jackie with his, this is Jackie. Oh, look at him. He's much older now. And that's his wife. And this is his mother. Jackie's wife and mother were with him when he went into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. That's a big deal. Jackie retired from baseball after the 1956 season. He showed that a black player could be every bit as good as a white one. Even more important, he opens Major League Baseball to non-white players. Fast fact, in 1962, Jackie became the first black player to be voted into baseball's Hall of Fame. After baseball, Jackie continued to work to make life better for African Americans. Sadly, Jackie died of a heart attack when he was only 53 years old. Jackie is shown here with Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King Jr. and other civil rights leaders. So they're fighting for people's rights. In 1977, Major League Baseball retired Jackie's number, 42. No other player will ever be allowed to wear it again, except on April 15th, Jackie Robinson Day. Then every player wears number 42 to honor one of the most important people in sports history. So this is a timeline down here, and it shows that he was born in 1919. And then in 1939, Jackie becomes a star athlete at UCLA. In 1945, he begins playing for the Kansas City Monarchs. And in 1946, he got married with Rachel Isom. 1947, he begins playing for the Brooklyn Dodgers. 
1955, he helps the Dodgers win World Series. 1972, he dies on October 24. All right, here we have a glossary and some poems about Jackie. And a glossary gives you the meaning of some words that were tricky or that you've never heard before. <laughs> 